and nearly non-existent as you move north of Interstate 10 for this evening. But you may have some persistent cloud cover in some cases, especially in our southern reaches where the stalled front continues to meander. This will play a role for another few days and a wave of low pressure on the opposite side of the Gulf from where we are will ride along that front giving a lot of moisture to southeast Texas. Some of that moisture will eventually creep in our general direction through the next two, three, four days, and that'll increase our rain coverage by quite a bit. Tomorrow, sun and cloud blend is what we anticipate with another spattering of showers and occasional thunderstorms across the landscape and offshore areas. So the coverage again will be scattered. Not all day rain and nothing that will probably cause you a huge delay just depending on the extent of the overall coverage. And right now it just does not look to be all that widespread for tomorrow. The front's still to the south. That western low is still a good distance away, so we're not quite getting the ingredients coming together to wring out a whole bunch of rain for your midweek Wednesday. So the overall rainfall projections, pretty limited, quarter inch or less, with some exceptions along the coast as those spottier, heavier downpours will linger there. But into Thursday and Friday, that's when that moisture starts to stream in. We'll still have an east wind set up through Thursday, when we start to bring more of a south wind pattern in for Friday, and the closer approach of that low, that's when we get a lot of rain activity. So Thursday, maybe a target date for Friday with the broadest rain coverage, some of that lingering into Saturday morning and afternoon, and that can give us a generous one to two, maybe even three inches of rain through that multi-day span of time into the beginning of the weekend. So plan accordingly, end of the week, looking kind of damp, and there may not be much sunshine to go around. Low 70s South Georgia tonight, mid 70s North Florida with highs, mostly in the 80s. I think a few of us can touch 90 if the sun shines breaks out in high enough quantities, but 90 or so could be hard to come by with more cloudiness for Thursday, Friday, and even into Saturday. I do think we'll start to bring in that drier northern air by Sunday and beyond.